Hi friends. Today our discussing topic is about inrush current. What is the inrush current? Inrush current is the instantaneous high input current drawn by a power supply or electrical equipment at turn on. During the switch on or turn on, this inrush current is flow. This arises due to high initial currents required to charge the capacitors and inductors or transformers the inrush current is also known as the switch on surge or the input surge current during the turn on process the discharged capacitors in the power supply often low impedance that allow high current to flow into the circuit as they charge from zero to the maximum halo this current can be as high as 20 times the steady state current even though it only lasts for about 10 milliseconds it takes between 30 to 40 cycles of current to stabilize to the normal operating value if not limited the high currents can damage the equipment in addition to producing voltage dips in the supply line and causing malfunctioning of other equipment powered from the same supply. High inrush current indicate more trash on the rectifier component and hence low reliability. The inrush current is specified in term of average during a half cycle or peak where peak is about 40 percent larger than the average voltage range 120 volt or 240 volt operating temperature range in which the limiting techniques is affected this is a graphical representation where the current axis and time axis has been shown here here when uh, we switched on the supply the current uh, has been increased instantly to reach its steady state value after reaching its steady state value by saturation value the current will be the normal current so this peak current here in the blue line or the hatched by the line is the inrush current magnitudes so when we uh, switch on the power transformers at no load condition primary to the high current that is the that may be the transient current inrush current but this inrush current does not create any permanent fault in the transformers it may be the unwanted tripping of the circuit breaker if the circuit breaker will be tripped for the huge amount of current then the transformers may be tripped accordingly so this is the um, voltage curve vt equal to vm sin omega t is the sinusoidal waveform here the 0 degree 90 degree 180 degree 270 degree and 360 degree curve here here we are uh, starting uh, here imposing voltage from 0 the transformer is at off condition we are uh, supplying the voltage switch on then the voltage is just increasing 90 degree then 180 degree to 270 degree and 2 pi 360 degree that means one cycle has been completed so during the uh, voltage build up the flux uh, of the core uh, proportionally increases at 90 degree at 90 degree or uh, pi by 2 the volt uh, the flux is maximum the flux is maximum then if uh, the core has not reached the saturation value then if the voltage is increases accordingly and the voltage uh, wave is just um, accordingly the flux is increases accordingly so at the value of the pi that is the 180 degree if we consider that uh, phi t equal to phi max 1 minus cos omega t then we will get if we putting uh, here the 0 cos 0 uh, cos 0 is uh, 1 cos 0 is 1 that means uh, we will get that phi t equal to 0 so at 
initial uh, position by initial degree we will get the flux is zero because the transformer is not charged accordingly if uh, the uh, curve is reached at 90 degree or pi by 2 we will get the value 5 max because uh, cos uh, pi by 2 cos 90 degree equal to 0 so we will get the flux maximum flux at 90 degree of the sinusoidal wave when we reach to the 180 degree or pi then we will get the maximum value maximum value that is the two times of the maximum flux and that will the inrush current that is the inrush current the huge amount of current is uh, required to saturate the transformer score so how we will get this the phi uh, of t equal to 1 minus cos omega t that means cos omega t is cos omega t equal to 180 degree so we will get the minus 1 cos 180 degree is uh, minus 1 that means 2 to 2 um, uh, phi max 2 phi max we will get the 2 phi max and this will uh, affect the transformers because when we switch on the transformer that will be the maximum flux and maximum um, flux will be generated and maximum current uh, peak that is the current peak current peak will be as like as this and after the saturation value after the saturation reaching to the saturation value this uh, curve uh, will be as like as this and the steady state value will be reached the rated current this is the peak and this maximum current the, the, the difference of the current from the steady state value this is the steady state value after reaching the steady state value so this is the inrush current this peak and this peak is the inrush current or the transient current maybe it may be the transient current also so if we uh, draw this curve so this is the two um, phi max two phi what is the two phi max two phi max is the maximum uh, flux of the two times of the maximum flux if we draw the curve uh, this is the saturations uh, value saturations curve here the core is saturated and accordingly if we draw the current so that will be the maximum uh, current that will be the maximum current at this point saturation point the current will be maximum so this is the inrush current curve and this is the saturation curve saturation curve and this is the inrush current curve inrush current curve so accordingly we will getting the value of the inrush current curve and the saturation uh, value curve so it is very uh, important to know the inrush current and the doubling effect of the any electrical equipment it may be the transformers it may be the reactor it may be the capacitor so uh, friend uh, today we discussed about the inrush current if you interested please subscribe my channel share my channel with your friends colleagues and obviously subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much for watching